Good afternoon. My name is Shalonda Stinson, and today I'm going to be speaking to you about diabetes insipidus and SIADH, syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone. So, um, first of all, what is diabetes insipidus? Diabetes insipidus is caused by a decreased amount of antidiuretic hormone. The two main symptoms of this are polydipsia and polyuria. Because there are small amounts of ADH release, the body is not able to retain any fluid and therefore excretes large amounts of urine. This leads to dehydration, which causes excessive thirst. There are four types of diabetes insipidus first being primary diabetes insipidus that's where there's a decrease in adh production secondary which diseases that affect is caused by diseases that affect the posterior pituitary gland there's nephrogenic which is caused by renal diseases and multi-system diseases that affects the kidney's ability to respond to adh and there's drug-related diabetes insipidus in which lithium inhibits ADH action in the kidney. Hi, my name is Gidget. I'm 24 years old and I'm a cheerleader. Well, I was a cheerleader. Uh, hold on, I have to go pee. <sighs> Okay, sorry. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm a cheerleader and um, I found, uh, hold on, I have to go pee. Okay. So they were having problems with me on the squad and they told me that I had to quit and oh, hold on, I have to go pee again. <laughs> So anyway, I never thought that I was that bad. Actually, I'm a lot better than most of those whores. And that's probably why they wanted to get rid of me, because they were threatened, because I'm so hot and I'm so talented. Oh, excuse me, I have to go pee. But anyway... I noticed like my lips were all dried and cracked out. Even my super duper MAC lipstick doesn't even work anymore. They're still dry. And my skin's getting a little dry. That too, you can see. And I, oh, hold on, I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, I'm like super thirsty, excuse me. <laughs> awesome. Ugh. Ugh. What were we talking about? Some common signs and symptoms of diabetes insipidus are polydipsia, polyuria, polyphagia, nocturia, low urine specific gravity, low urine osmolarity, high normal plasma osmolarity, hydronephrosis. Some physical causes of diabetes insipidus are brain trauma, brain tumor, CNS infection, intracranial surgery, renal damage, 
and drug-induced complications. Some diagnostic tests for diabetes insipidus include urine osmolarity, blood osmolarity, urine-specific gravity and urine electrolytes, serum sodium, water deprivation test, and vasopressin test. So can you tell me how you can help me? Because I really want to get back on the squad and show all those bitches who they let go. They will feel my wrath. Some treatments and nursing interventions include thiazide diuretics, hormone replacement, administration of diabetes, um, but overall, the goal in treatment is to achieve and maintain a fluid and electrolyte balance that is within its normal limits. When your patient is released from the hospital, the patient and family members should be provided with information about their medication, about weight loss, dry cap, cracked lips, confusion and weakness are all signs of dehydration and the client should be educated on these symptoms. Instruct the client to wear a medical alert wristband. The client should be instructed to monitor their weight on a daily basis and monitor fluid levels. The client should be instructed to follow a high fiber, a diet that is high in fiber, low in sodium. A list of certain foods that can be included in a specific diet should be given to the client. In addition, Foods that exert a diuretic effect, such as caffeine, should be restricted or avoided. The client should be encouraged to drink fluids and respond to thirst. However, monitor fluid intake closely. If signs or symptoms of water intoxication occur, restrict fluids and avoid alcohol consumption. Now, on the other end of this spectrum, we have SIADH. What is SIADH, you may ask? Well, SIADH is a problem in which vasopressin is secreted even when the plasma osmolarity is low or normal. A decrease in plasma osmolarity normally inhibits ADH production and secretion. Some common causes of SIADH include small cell lung cancer, viral and bacterial pneumonia, strokes, and opioid use. Common signs and symptoms of SIADH include thirst, dyspnea on exertion, fatigue, muscle cramping, low iron, nope, low urine output, weight gain, weight gain, vomiting, nausea, abdominal cramps, cerebral edema, anorexia, and so on and so forth. Like diabetes, some diagnostic tests include urine osmolarity, blood osmolarity, serum sodium, urine sodium, urine specific gravity. Serum sodium levels continue to fall below 120 milliequivalents Signs and symptoms of SIADH become more severe. A decrease in urinary output is seen as well. Additional labs and tests may include decreased BUN, decreased creatinine clearance, decreased hemoglobin and hematocrit, serum electrolytes, plasma cortisol, CT scan of the head, radioimmunoassay of ADH. Radioimmunoassay? I know I'm not saying that right. Okay, next we have Miss D. She's coming in with symptoms of SIADH. So let's hear her story. Hello, my name is Miss D. -va. That's D E E V. -a. So. I was once a member of Destiny's Child. I was actually the lead singer 
and I was kicked out of the band for no reason whatsoever. So of course, after that, I became a little depressed. So my doctor put me on some medication. I wrote a song about that. You want to hear it? Ooh, antidepressants. So, I went on the antidepressants, and after a month or so, I noticed that I started gaining a lot of weight. And I mean, a lot of weight. You know, two weeks ago, I was 200 pounds lighter. Here's a picture of me. So as you can see, I've gained quite a bit of weight. And also, I was nauseous and vomiting, lightheaded, you know, but mainly the weight things was really bothering me, you know, because you can't be on the road trying to dance and sing and stuff and be all heavy and lightheaded. So. I went to see the doctor to find out what was going on and he said that I had an imbalance in one of my hormones. Oh yeah, to remember it, I wrote a song about it. Wanna hear it? Alright. Ooh, vasopressin. So he said that I was too much of this vasopressin was in my body and it was what was making me gain weight so I'm like doctor what is this called I've never heard of anything like it and uh, he told me oh yeah to remember I wrote a song about it you want to hear it all right it's I A D A. So, I guess what I'm here to find out is what you can do to help me. I was looking on my phone a while ago, and I saw a drug that's supposed to help me get rid of all this weight, and I was wondering if I could just take that while I'm, you know, in the studio making my new album. Um, what was the name of that drug? Oh, yeah. To remember, I wrote a song about it. You want to hear it? All right. Ooh, to Vapton. So can I just take that? So some things you would like to teach your patient with SIADH are, include, excuse me, water restrictions, a restriction of up to 500 to 600 milliliters of water per day. That's 24 hour period. And um, excuse me. Well, that's kind of hot. I just wrote a song about that. You want to hear it? All right. Ooh, water restriction. Mm. Oh, Lord. Some drug therapies can be used for SIADH, including tolvapan, but tolvapan can only be used in a hospital setting due to the development of hypernatremia. Diuretics can be used if their sodium level is not too low, and demeclocycline, an oral antibiotic to correct fluid imbalance. Teach your patient to provide a safe environment. If sodium levels drop too low, lightheadedness can occur. And most importantly, teach your patient to weigh themselves daily and to report a two or more pound weight gain. Frequent oral care is a must. You know, sitting here listening to Gidget's story, and thinking about my own journey has really moved me so much that I wrote a song about it. Would you like to hear it? Okay. Spray too much trauma and cancer, a complication might be S I A D H S I A D H S I A D H. -S -I -A -D -H. 
assist and won't stop the TP. Low alpha sodium gain weight and high specific gravity. S I N D H S I N D H S I N D H syndrome stops the TP. The diabetes and separatists, the opposite you will see. P P get all these. P P drink plenty. P P weigh daily and basal pressing. Wow, I can't believe it. I actually enjoyed that song. Thank you very much, Miss Diva. So that concludes my presentation on SIADH and diabetes encephalitis. I hope that it was helpful, and I hope that every- Ow! Oh, what the hell? Ow! Oh.